everyone. We so live. we had people request to see the dog. So here he is. It has taken many lengths to get us to this point right here. <laughs> we just keep trying to find you. Just, if you just like dog, he's so helpful. Oh. Oh. Hey, come here. He's so cute. <laughs> Very kind. Thanks to Loves all of children. you who wanted this. <laughs> oh, Adam's here. Hi, Adam. <laughs> Adam met Danny personally. Hello, okay, um, hi, Ellen is also here. I will be reading some questions we received from the patrons. So sorry, I'm not in the camera screen. You may just hear my voice. So anyways, um, okay, first question that the band will answer. Um, why is the bass sometimes hard to hear in our video recordings? And why is mom sometimes in the back? Well, the bass... It's just harder to hear because um, the miking. We've switched how we've recorded a couple different things, but it's easier to hear the acoustic music or the acoustic instruments that are playing into the condensers we have up there. So I don't know. Like we, I think it's been improving because when we first started doing videos, the bass was very quiet, and so we've switched a few things. But the bass is only hard to hear if you're using crappy speakers. True that. So use your headphones. I have a question. Which of these copies is mine? Copies? Yeah. Which one do you have? Um, have you drank out of this one, Kate? Nope. You got Jules. Hi. Black, just like you um, like. Mom is in the back just because the bass is a very big instrument. And so lots of times it helps if she's right behind us. Also, it helps keep us together with rhythm because we can all hear what she's doing. So she's kind of the center. Keeps us going. Okay, next question is from Vino, and how many band members will be answering questions? And that's all of us, except mom has to leave soon to get ready for the show. And then <laughs> is Julianne leaving the band this fall when she studies at Oxford? Yes. <laughs> I don't think she planned on flying back for all of our video shoots. No, it's a bit expensive um, to fly that much, but I will be just taking a break um during oxford and then coming back in december but i'll be here in august so i'll just september to december and i'll make some christmas shows i think mm -hmm. i don't know yeah she'll come back for christmas season and we're doing a mini tour and all that before she leaves in august so in yes. august but the semester after that is my last semester of college ever so then i will be full time good answer jules Thanks. um are we gonna see any new cooking videos from katie Mm. Yes. <laughs> we actually we have a fish tacos one filmed yeah we filmed one it just hasn't jules has been busy yeah. and um but yeah i plan on trying a couple other things this year so we've just been kind of in just album in focus <laughs> mode for a long time so we just <laughs> finished recording our album in nashville that has been the number one priority and now we can kind of do some other things too so are the boys just leaving? They're well, the light. Of, and it looks like he's about to go to heaven. Okay, I tried to make it better. Okay, <laughs> next question for Katie from Mary. Yeah, I hung it over the wrong part. <laughs> I'm here. Um, what are you doing on the fiddle when you're not actively playing moving notes? It looks like your fingers are on the fingerboard and you're just playing short choppy notes on beat, but what's the technical term for what you're doing? Chopping. Yeah, so mandolin and fiddle both have a percussive role. It's mainly the mandolin's role to chop on the offbeat. So I'm kind of just playing a no notes, just the rhythm on the strings. And whenever you'll notice, usually if Julianne is taking a mandolin solo, I'm chopping for sure because she's not chopping. Whenever Julianne is with the band, she chops for the most part. But when she's away at school, um, Emmett and I sometimes actually take turns chopping, depending on who's playing the melody. But yeah, it's called chopping. So good question. Um, next question. Sandra, who we met in Finland, A, just oh, yeah. got married. So congratulations, congratulations to Sandra. Did she's watching this while riding on a train. So we love you. She's wow. watching. Wow. Hi, Sandra. Talk, so OK, next question. Single How many takes? Like Next question. How many takes does it take to film one of your live songs on average? Mm -hmm. On average, we probably do three 
it's by the third take that we felt good about one of them usually. So I would say three or four takes is probably the average. And then we just pick one. Sometimes we get it on the second try, but we do another one just to have the backup. So, yeah. Um, people want to buy things from Katie's Kitchen. Aww. Okay, how many years of college does Julian have left? And when will you sing lead on a song next? And where have you been? Why haven't you been singing lead? <laughs> So I only have one more year of college left, so I'm doing it a little bit early. Um, and that's why I probably haven't been um, singing lead as much is because just class loads, trying to fit all of that in, um, finishing out the semester. So Jules has a couple new songs she just put on the album, so coming soon as far as when she'll be featured next in a song. So we're pretty excited. This album's going to be for you guys. Okay, next question. How do you get a great sound when recording outside, and how do you get power in the middle of a field for the recording equipment? So we have a Zoom recorder that is battery-powered. It uses a lot of batteries, so I do have to keep on checking the battery status as we do takes to make sure we haven't run out of battery before we do another one, but we usually go through like four batteries per song. So um, that's how much it takes, but it's an awesome recorder and it allows us to record anywhere we want. Okay, on that same vein, how do we get singing harmonies or different instruments balanced while two to four of us are using the same microphone? Oftentimes even moving around during the song. How does the sound stay balanced? We work the mic. Yeah, does anybody else want to chip in? I don't want to just talk the whole time. <laughs> I mean, like as far as balance goes, like, I don't know if you notice, but as we're playing, we're kind of taking turns leaning in depending on who's singing and everything. And then um, I also, I'm playing softer. If I'm right up close to the microphone and I'm having to sing harmony while I'm playing the fiddle, I'll not press as hard on my bow so I can play softer so I won't drown on everybody else. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, we started out learning how to play on a single mic. And so that's kind of, and I think Emmett's family too. Did you guys do single mic for a while? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's kind of like a bluegrass thing. Family bands learn how to just work around a microphone because lots of times that's all you have to work with when you show up somewhere. We yeah. actually, um, we have a new song on our album that we're doing that we haven't released all yet, but on the recording itself, we're like all three girls are on the same microphone. Yeah, so. Um, I will answer this question. Hi again. Uh, Roberto asked, he saw that we just finished recording our album in Nashville, which we are so, so, so excited about. We just got back and he's asking, when will it be released and will it be available on vinyl as well? And we would love to release it on vinyl. Vinyl is just a whole problem for us. I do all the merchandising orders and it's a lot of things went out of stock when we tried to do the Christmas vinyl and everything has to be mastered a certain way. And some of our album length was too long to fit on the side of a vinyl. So those were some of the problems I ran into. And it's also just very expensive. So I always feel bad if it costs us $35 to make the vinyl, then like charging you guys just kind of, it's a bummer. But anyways, I am working on it. Um, if any of you guys are vinyl producers and want to help me with the production of a vinyl record, I would love to help. Um, this is new territory for me, but so the goal is to have it out on vinyl. The dog is going crazy. <laughs> okay, okay. Fly away. And uh, we're not sure about the album release date yet. We just finished recording and I wasn't really going to release this yet, but we might as well talk about it. We are going to have a part in the album where we invite all of you guys to join us singing. So more info will be coming out about that soon but we're gonna have a part in a song where we needed a choir mm -hmm. and we just thought it would be really really fun if our youtube and patreon audience members were the choir so stay tuned for that information stay tuned because within the next few days you'll be yeah. getting the information on that so and, and sing in tune stay tuned mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh -huh. um Okay. Okay. If you could collaborate on a song with one of your musical inspirations, who would it be? Uh, 
Um, That's the dog. Agree. Pretty thank Jules. Oh, I'll, I'll go get him. Um, I was gonna go get the dog. Uh, I would say. Oh man. I. See, most of the artists that I really love, I would feel like I'm tainting them if I ever asked them to, like, play with me because I just want them to, like, remain in their pure form. Okay, you know? but just by doing a song with them. <laughs> um, it'd be cool. I love James Taylor and Alison Krauss. I've always thought it'd be cool for either of them. I know that's stereotypical for me, but I'm like, if either of those people ever wanted to collab, that'd be cool. Mom's taking the dog home. <laughs> so my, my keys are here. And my glasses. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Thanks for different. joining. See ya. Okay, next question. Okay, we have some questions about our Patreon reunion in October. So we just did one in March where we invite everyone in our Patreon community to come to Brainson and we go see shows together and... Um, we had like an exclusive concert and party together and a game night. We just had a lot of fun um, getting to hang out with people. And we're having another one in October. It's October 6th through 9th. And registration's open on our Patreon page. And Julianne just finished making a vlog of our last reunion. And you can watch it on our Peterson Family blog channel. Mm -hmm. So 17 minutes long. It's it is long. quite long. But it's so, so funny. It was a long fun, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, we have like a ton of our like shows last summer um, that we, I think I have like 13 vlogs that are unedited and I just edited three, so. And evidently like, like you can tell which ones we're like really tired on from like our road travel. So yeah. like, just know if we seem like we're in a bad mood, we might be, but it's probably because we're tired. <laughs> And sometimes we're just in a bad mood. Like there's no excuse. It's just all all colors. Oh, I'm always when I'm tired. I'm in a bad mood. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last question from our Patreon community. I'll try to stay in this. Um, Kevin asked, "Who is playing the piano in the song Walk Over God's Heaven?" I'm asking the question. Does so somebody want to answer? Like, Do you guys know? <laughs> John Peterson. Yay! <laughs> okay. That's hilarious. Um, okay, while we do have you two, we have some fun shows coming up. Matt, do you want to tell them about a couple shows we booked in August? We are going to Charlotte, North Carolina at the Booth Playhouse. And that's like the 11th of um, August. And then we're in Nashville at the Franklin. And... Um, None of those tickets are available, and I don't know when they will be. So just watch our website. We'll post about it. Um, they are both uh, smaller venues, especially the Franklin. So whenever we do open up tickets, be ready. <laughs> because they will probably sell out. Or maybe they won't. <laughs> maybe you'll be fine. <laughs> but we're really excited to travel closer to you guys for a change, especially our friends in North Carolina. Um, I know it's pretty hard to road trip all the way to Missouri from North Carolina. So we're really excited that we get to come to you. Um, I also want to give a quick couple shout outs to the super chat. We have Chance Rogers Hi, always Chance. in the house. We love Chance. So thank you for coming. And then we have Oded from, I think he's from Israel. And he wants to know if we don't come into in Israel, which we would truly love to do. The three of us girls have all gone to Israel and it was a life changing experience for us. So we would love to go back. And um, will we at least come to Europe? Matt, do you want to answer Europe possible tour questions? Yeah, we'd love to go. I don't have anything in the works, um, but it would be a cool opportunity. So it won't be this year. And if it was next year, it would be late in the year. Um, yeah, so. I talked about like the fall and everything. And we've so we've been to Finland and Ireland before. And we really want to go to Germany. That's high up on the list. So I know a lot of you guys are like, come to Germany. We would love to someday. So yeah, um, we definitely want to as soon as we can. Yeah. We also have, speaking of, and I don't know how to say this. Maybe it's Trenin, um Regen from Germany or Bavaria, Germany. And he thanks us for the music. And we just really thank you guys for listening and supporting and giving us a reason to keep playing music. So thank you. From Bavaria, Germany. We also have Judah Zook says any oh okay any chance of some European shows while Julianne is in Oxford. 
I think Julianne would personally murder us if she went to Oxford and we all came over and said, let's go on tour. Here we are. <laughs> I do. My, my goal is to learn how to busk, though, one day. Oh, oh, maybe Lord. by the time. So if you guys are walking the streets of Oxford and you see someone looking similar to her rocking out, it might be her. So. If you hear Jill on my mind. <laughs> Can you do hours. a solo no roots? I would actually really enjoy that. <laughs> so thank you, Judah Zook. Oh, Vino, thank you. Okay, for all the other band members to shout out a very loud get it, mama. One, two, three. Get, get it, it, mama. mama. Okay, thank you, Vino. Vino is awesome. Control. Oh, our dad also is contributing to this. Oh, hi, dad. Chat. Thanks, dad. Dad, we needed you. We today. love you. We needed you with your dog. <laughs> Dad came in our show a couple days ago. Um, every once in a while, he's able to stop by in the afternoon, and we gave him a shout out. And when the lights turned on, he was holding the dog. He it was brought so Danny. Funny. <laughs> so precious. Um, okay, we have drone science and photography. It says hi from Ventura. Sent you all a Christmas video of country roads. Did we see it? And are you coming to the West Coast anytime soon? If you sent it. Then yes, we did see it. We actually love getting people sending us videos of themselves covering a song that we've either covered mm -hmm. or written. Um, I think California is definitely like the most common song and the ring song that people send in. They're precious. We love them. So keep up the awesome covers. There was a little girl who had choreographed. She was maybe five, but she was in ballet class and she had choreographed a whole like routine to the ring song. And she came to our show and afterwards did the whole thing. And we were like, wow, it was incredible. So much precious. more talent. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite are the men who cover that song. Mm -hmm. I love I love those. Videos. You love what? Okay. I was like, <laughs> where I are you? Like men. I, just love I love men. men. <laughs> Okay, Eldon Smith says you plan to perform in Southern California anytime. Matt, would you care to answer questions about us going on tour to Southern California? We will not be anytime that I know of. <laughs> uh, but seriously, guys, if anyone invites us and it works with our current show schedule and we can find a way to get there, we always love going on tour. So you guys asking these questions, like if you know someone that has a venue or like wants to do a private event, we will go. So that can happen. Um, David Watson sent in some money for a toy and treat fund for Danny. For oh, dogs. Dogs. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> and I think that about catches us up. Oh, I see questions about Katie's chicks in the oh. chat. Katie, how are your baby chicks? The baby chickens have been relocated to their final home where they will be happily laying mm -hmm. eggs for many years. Um, actually, Emmett's sister, Audra, yeah. has them now. And they already have a lot of chickens. She's a wonderful chicken mother, much better than I am. And I <laughs> raised them. It was a miracle that they made it alive and healthy to the farm. And actually, on our way to Nashville, we dropped them off. And they slowly, it was actually hilarious because um, they were telling us that chickens, when they merge together with other chickens, they have to kind of prove themselves. And so they kind of puff out and have to try to be bigger than the other chickens there. Did you do that? <laughs> Not me, the chicken. <laughs> so anyways, my baby chickens went in and the other chickens were already grown. And sure enough, like, as the big chickens like stood up tall, my baby chickens stood up tall right next to them and they kind of all just did this. It was so funny. Right, when you turned yeah. around, they all just started beating. Them up. <laughs> you need to tell them about the, the line. The oh, and um, Emmett's brother-in-law took one of the chickens. It was actually the one I named after Matt that had given me a lot of problems. He's not really a people person and he doesn't <laughs> like being held. And Ben literally like, put him on the grass and drew a line in the mud and the chicken literally just laid down and looked at the line and was motionless and ben said that it's kind of a hip hypnosis thing yeah. that like when chickens see a line in the ground they kind of just lay there and stare at it and it was so weird you so can weird. youtube it actually Chicken is, is that what you mean? No, me no, and wait, don't I was leave the grandma. chat stay here. <laughs> no stay Do like but, leave the chat youtube come back <laughs> But we'll I will still be here talking. That was a conversation piece with Grandma and I yesterday. So <laughs> we were watching chickens in line. So. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We have John Swanson. Um, <laughs> said he loves the March reunion and he can't wait till October. So John. that's really fun. And then I also see. Oh, where'd it go? I just had it. Oh, Ernest says, "Keep up the excellent work. Thank you so much." Thank you. 
Um, Vino wants to know if you got your earring back from the chicken. <laughs> nope. But I, so one of the chickens ate my earring and literally like swallowed it and everything. So I told that to Audra and Ben and they said they'd be looking So it might be in an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Just right in the middle. Yeah. I will never wear that earring again. So I don't give oh, a to it. It was like five dollars. Double yoke. And also an earring. <laughs> okay. I think that about does it. Do you guys have anything else you want to add? Oh, well, if any of you guys are coming to Branson, starting in June and July, we have evening shows oh, yeah. for the first time ever on Tuesday nights. So we're still going to have Tuesday and Thursday afternoon at two. But come on a Tuesday evening. We're hoping that a lot of our friends who work during the day can actually catch an evening show. And that's only going to be for the summer. And then I think again at Christmas. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah, if you live in the local area and you're unable to make an afternoon 2 p.m. show. We will be doing eight o'clock so you can get off work, drive into Branson, have a good time. So that'll be really fun. And once again, like Branson is a super fun place to visit. Mm -hmm. So we're always just like, so many of you guys have been coming to the show this spring, <clears throat> which has been really fun. So please come to Branson. Eight o'clock has the mosh pit too, which is our new installment. <sighs> we are not doing a mosh pit. Um, Thank you, Jeff. He says, always a joy to see you guys. So thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks, Jeff. Um, yeah, we just love you guys. And we're super grateful. And it's been fun to release YouTube videos again. I know we had quite a while. And people asked what we were doing this spring. And it truly, <laughs> yeah, we were learning the songs and just lining up the times where we all had our voices together. And then Joel's had a break from school and the weather was nice outside. We had several video shoots scheduled that we had to cancel just because of one of those things wasn't working out. So it's been fun to actually post some YouTube videos. And um, yeah, we have one that we're releasing tomorrow that we're incredibly excited about. Um, we always give our patrons a sneak peek and they have loved it. So that's been really cool. Um, yeah. But anyways... If you get bored and need some extra content, Julianne's doing a great job on the vlog channel and so many, so many vlogs of our travels. And we love you guys. And we just hope that we get to see you guys soon. So bye. Take care. Bye. Hey, yo.